God, I'm like fucking nauseous. Come on, man. Ah, there we go, we're back. We're back again late because for some reason um, the record thing was saying that Football Manager isn't loaded. But, um, you've missed a treat since we was last here. Um, I can't remember if it was the... I'm sure it was the semi-final we was at, wasn't it? Um, we beat Al Alton and Clay, 5-1. Uh, Benjamin Flowerdo with a hat-trick. Uh, Mark Cooper and Tyrese Paul Jones. Flowerdo and Cooper scored in the same minute. Which is <laughs> um, some fate, shall we say? Uh, Flower Jew just before half time. Paul Jones just after half time. Then Flower Jew completed his hat trick to make it 5 0 before Keegan Loach pulled one back for Holton McClay. We then played Wibberton. Now, if you remember last season, we played the reserves. Um, and we lost to the reserves in two games. Well, we've been to Grimsbury Reserves and we've signed about four players. One of them was Jay Bird, who got a hat trick. On his debut, uh, Tyrese Paul Jones back in amongst the goals. And Omar Sinclair with his second of the season. Luke Hampson was sent off just before half time for the visitors. And then in our game in hand, we went to Grimsby Royal Reserves and turned them over 5 1. Tyrese Paul Jones with two goals. Jay Bird on the score sheet again. Ben Howe with an absolute howitzer of a strike. Um, is there a way that we can. Get the goal up. Let's have a look. See if we can. Um, this might have fucked the minutes up for the video, but hey ho, it, it might fuck the video up altogether. We don't know. We're, we're clicking buttons on this laptop that has seen better days, and uh, no, it hasn't. We have. Um, let's watch the goals. We'll watch the goals again. Why not? Let's have a look. But, um, yeah, we, we had an XG of 2.20, which is absolutely phenomenal. Um, Baird was man of the match. Ashton got a 7.4. Um, and for some reason, now I've clicked that, it won't actually do anything. Um, okay, don't know what's happening here. Oh, there we go, we're generating the match report. We're, we're, we're getting somewhere. You watch this goal by Ben Howe. It was a fantastic strike. And if this doesn't get goal of season in the end of season review, I don't know what will. It is that good. We've never done this before in a game, uh, in an episode. We are going back to the game. We've scored 15 goals in three games. It is phenomenal. Um, now what do we do? I don't actually know. Um, we're, we're doing something. Ah, here we go, here's the first goal, then Paul Jones just picks it up, and then just puts it in at the near post. The keeper was already on the floor, by the uh, looks of it, here's the second goal, Paul Jones there again. Um, we need to slow it down a little bit. Um, that was 2-1. And then, how gets it clicked? So, Stanley just goes for a little dink cheeky grass daisy cutter and this is it look McKendy picks it up back to patience over to Ben Howe who just wallops it into the top corner from 25 yards what a goal what a strike and this is this rounds it up McKendy on the left hand side pings one in Ashton's there with the header at the far post off the post and in and what a game that was 5-1 it finished and um, we played Newark today, a team that we beat 7-1 in the first round of the Lincolnshire Cup. And then we beat them 2-1 um, a few weeks later at home. But last time we played them away, we won 7-1. So I thought we'll come back for this one instead. Just worth noting, the game against Wibberton, so of our first time we got 100 fans through the gates. Um, and then Grimsby Reserves got 103 through. So um, hopefully against Louth, when we're actually playing to... We could still win. We need Grimsby Borough Reserves to slip up today. We need to take advantage with a big win against Newark. Last time we played them away, we won 7 1, remember? I'm not sure who Grimsby Borough Reserves are playing. But I thought we'd come back for the last two games to see if we could get promoted again. Um, Alright, hang on. We need to make one change. Costas dabbies us. Tumwer is doing my heading. So, um, 
Yeah, we're going to put Costas Dabby's ass. We signed him from Brisbane Ball Reserves as well. We <laughs> kind of raided their team for some players just, just for the last few weeks of the season. Just to try and win this league as well. You know, it's all right get, getting promoted. But we want to get promoted by winning winning the league. Um, but we're not going to do that as far as Grisby Bulwer players are still playing for them, are we? But, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day. And um, if we do go up in second place still, it's been a successful season. Because the board wanted us in the top three places. We've definitely got that. We're miles in front of fourth. But, um... Yeah, here we go then. Well, uh, let's pick off where we left off last time. We'll pump fist with everyone today, you know. We're, we are good friends. We've got Tyrese Paul Jones now as an inf highly influential player. Um, and we will be keeping him for next season, providing he doesn't move anywhere. And um, Lincoln Morland's have gone 1 0 up against an unsought tavern. Right. As it stands, Grimsby Borough have won the league. Patience. Bears in. And Bears dragged it wide at the post. That was unlucky. Patience with it. Sinclair, the first man. Calburn. O'Leary. Paul Jones gets it on this right hand side and drills one over the top. And, um, yeah, it looks like we've uh, not won the league at this rate. Grimsby Borough reserves 2 0 up now. My A fever is playing up, but Nettle will never go back. It's 2 1. And it's still time for Nettleton to do it. Um, they are safe. We're going to always do that. McKendy, what a goal! 14 to the season, 30 yard free kick. And it's Newark nil, Spillsby Town 1. And as results stand, we are second guaranteed second place. Here's McKendy. Plays it back. Sinclair. Baird's there. Gets tackled. That was a good tackle from the Nettleham. Uh, not Nettleham. Newark defence. Come on, Nettleham. We need you to score another goal. We need Nettleham to score yet one more goal. Things are going well. I'm going to pump first. Definitely going to pump fist with them, you know, they're playing alright. And there's Sinclair with the throw into Paul Jones, back to Ben Howe, he's going to Howe, it's the last time. And that was close by Jay Ben, it's just gone over the top. Nettle needs to score. Patience whips it in. And there's a penalty. Amy Fern's given a penalty. And it's going to be Jay Bird with it. And Jay Bird scores, and it's 2-0 to Spillsby. That's his 15th goal of the season. He's already scored five for us. He's only played three games. Not bad going, if I may say so myself. Grimsby Borough development have equalised. And um, we're, we're 17 points. Um, 20, 27 points, Claire, at fourth. Had to work that one out then. Nettleham still 2-1 down. Uh, we need them to score if we have any chance of winning the lead. Dabizas then into Stanley. Bird over to this right hand side. Paul Jones gets it. Whips it in and Scott Belgrove's got his first for the club. 17th for the season. Come on Nettleham. Do us proud. Do the... There's a goal. And Jay Bird and... I don't know what's happened there. Whips on him. Dabizas with it. Doesn't do out with it. Come on, Nettleham, get a goal back. Going to make a change. Uh, Adlard's going to come on for Jay Bird. Mark Cooper's coming on for Belgrove. Both had good games. They can both have a round of applause when they come off. I feel sorry for Mark Cooper. He's done nothing wrong. He's just getting a bit old. Grimsby Borough have gone 3-1 up now. 4-1 up now. And it looks like we're going to be winning 3 0. Springs up then, pings one up. Worst goal kick in the world. Thomas is there. Thomas has pulled one back. Jordan Thomas for his 14th of the season. Stanley with it then. Back to McKendy. Stanley. Devontae Stanley goes for some kind of cross come shot. 
and uh, the keeper just catches it. But Davizas is there with it. He's on the booking. Paul Jones on this right hand side uses his pace, gets inside and drills it over the crossbar. That was unlucky. And it looks like we're going to pick up the three points. And we'll take that three-one win. Um, not sure why people why it's showing us that. Not sure what's going on there. Um, but it's come down to the last game of the season. So join us tomorrow where we see if we're finishing first, second, or maybe even third. We'll see you then. Stay safe. Take care. Freedom is nearly upon us, folks. It's getting closer. We'll see you then. Goodbye.